Mm-hmm. And we back. 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 And we. Uh, quick little development. And we back. Um, and we I know I told some people I wasn't gonna, I might not bring this back, but here it is. So. Thank you guys for all the support yet again. I think I found the problem to why a lot of people weren't getting into these videos. Instagram seems to have been deleting photos randomly, just deleting it if it's been in there. So if a lot of people have been coming and putting it into Instagram, then a lot of people are getting their stuff deleted. So I'm like, whoa, what's going on Instagram? You're bugging. I got some people trying to put stuff in the RMF. With that being said, Everybody, if you want your stuff inside of my RMF, I'm gonna put a new list of rules in the description. You should, you will be emailing me now so that it can't automatically be deleted anymore. Either put RMF or rate my fade, put it there with the picture. If you don't put it there in the subject or within the body of your text for the email, you will not be sending it or it will not be getting in here. And this is to ensure that I can get every single body on here to be on, you know, on the videos. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get straight into this video, man. Just turn this up a bit. Damn, now we're in here. Um, okay, so this fade right here, a little blotchy in this area. If you guys can see it, it's you can see dark spots right here. When I say blotchy, I'm talking about dark spots. So I need to let you guys know, like, yo, when I'm talking, I'm gonna give you my opinion on certain, um, haircuts but i'm also going to give you reasons and you got to know the type of language that i use everybody doesn't use the same language so you know don't get all crazy but there's that it's a blotchy fade and it's also not crisp line like it's like missing uh, in a lineup it's like a very very big part of this cut and the fade you know you're not you're not horrible but you're not good either so this fade itself like this whole cut itself is like a four like this is not that good it just needs a lot of work all right, next one. This fade, huh? This line right here. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, looks like you cut it yourself. You're in. It looks like a selfie. Looks like you just took a one and just cut up all around here, and then kind of like blended it down a bit. And there's a line, a very harsh line right here. And there's no lineup. I don't know what you guys are trying to show me, but um, this might be one of the people who cut for the first time or something. But this is this is worse than the last one. Uh, and you got the stuff on your neck too, huh? This is not good. And why is this in focus? Why is the background in focus? You want us to look at this or fade? Oh, you, I know what you was trying to do. You was trying to blur out. <laughs> you was trying to blur out the fade a bit more. I see. I see what you did there. <laughs> you trying to blur that thing out. I see you. But yeah, if you want to improve this, um, this fade a bit. Yeah, you just want to use clip over comb, blend that up, and definitely take out take out some edges because it doesn't look like you are aware of what those are. Look at look at the videos, man. Um, yeah, hopefully that helped you out. Oh, that's like a that's like a three. Mango Barber. This is amazing. <laughs> like, hashtag Mango Barber. Look at you. That's that's promotion right there, buddy. But this is a this is a ten, boy. This is a ten. What? Look at that blend. Yo, what are you? I'm speechless. I don't know what to <laughs> next. What? description of it j cameron 86 yeah this is bad um it's awkward because if it's like bald right here then there's like a line and there's just patches of hair up here and that right there and it's out of focus when it comes to people who have dreads on top of their head um it's either you're gonna make that part around their head extremely uh like a like a clean undercut or you're gonna have to fade a little below it and fade up into it so it looks natural because this right here looks like you're doing a little both like you left the patch here then you cut it off right there it's that doesn't look that doesn't look good like it just it just doesn't to improve it you just need to fade into this probably bring this ball part of it higher or something because this is like it's just awkward like you use a no guard and all, a no guard open which is a like think of an andis with the think of an andis with the notch all the way to the the furthest length with not one guard on it since nobody knows what no guard is just open that up and then you just went all the way up here that's not that's not transitional i'm giving this one a three as well i just really i really don't like it it's one i just don't i don't know this one interesting and oh those couches those are clean i'll tell you 
Let's see. See that lineup is bad. This is the best part of the lineup, kind of. And then it's like wavy here. Every single part of this lineup I don't like. And there's a there's a heart a, a line right here. And somebody in the comments said, you know, sometimes that line up there is like on purpose. Yeah, sure, it's on purpose, bro. But sometimes it isn't. You can't just always say the line is on purpose just because you can't take it out. Like, just take out that line. Let me know if you think this is on purpose or not, because people be tripping, bro. I promise you. Yeah, this line is, this is a harsh line. Like, it's really harsh. Like, have you seen on Instagram when people have like, let's see, on Instagram, when people have like uh, one, two, three, four stages, right? This looks like a stage before the last one, like one or two stages before the last one. It just doesn't look complete. Uh, I don't, that's just all I gotta say for it. Mm, this line, this fade, look, this fade is good, but what's messing it up? The line is not good and the top is not clean. This person knows how to fade. That's what's, it's just, this is a perfect example where um, the lineup changes everything. Because if you did not touch this line and if this, this beard fade is a little iffy though. Yeah, the line is a little, it's all a little iffy, but I'm not, I can't, I can't say I'm, I, I have much of a problem with this fade except for slight blotchiness, but overall it's just me being picky. It's a good fade, the line is just in, like it's not sharp. You should have used the blade to, to bring this out some more. It looks like just, it doesn't make the fade pop. Um, fades look good, but if you look at a fade, look at my fades before I line them up, right? They look all right, but like after the line is there, after you get a nice clean line, like if we go back to this, right? This, all of this looks so good because not only is this clean, but you get, you come to the end over here and it's crisp right there. So this crisp part, when you can see hair, then absolutely no hair right beside it and line with no hair, then absolutely hair right beside it. It makes all of this look really good. I feel like I might've done this before, but I'm sorry if I did, but this fade is fantastic. Um, okay, and this one I give you, this one I'm giving like a five. Five to six, just cause this, just cause this fade is good, but the line is just not good. It's not. Hmm. I think this, this is the guy. This is one of the guys who said they faded for the first time. First time for your first time. Look, I can show you my first fade. It's on my old Instagram, Kevin Um, I just put it up on this video. You can see it. So for your first time, you know, it. Everybody starts at a different point. You know, I can't say anything bad about somebody who starts for the first time, but as an objective, just so looking at this fade objectively. You have like a, looks like you tried to start this ball spot right here and you're trying to be a little too, trying to get out of your element or something. I mean, of course, every every cut you do will be out of your element because you haven't done it before. But what I'm saying is you got, you want to start like a little more basic, like with a line, like start a guideline here, then a guideline, then a guideline and take out those guidelines rather than just trying to have this bald spot and fading up. Cause you see both of them on here. Like when you fade and you want to keep that side burn, you got to fade on both sides. This doesn't look, this doesn't look good. Um, and you can see this line right here too, and a harsh line here. You wanna fade into that and fade into that, but if it's just not a clean cut, you know? This lineup though is better than the, the other one, like in, in, its, in its crispness, but the shape is also weird. You see this sideburn is different than this sideburn, and this, this slant is not as slanted as this one. It's just so many bad things about this. Um, you know, and of course it is your first time. I'm not trying to, I'm not discouraging you. I hopefully you're a person who can take criticism. Um, yeah, it's just bad, just bad. Cause, um, yeah, so it's like, I'm giving that like a three. I like the baldness right here, even though you can see strands of hair there. The fade generally is okay. Generally in this area, I give you this, right? Kind of right here, but I don't like what's happening here. And I don't like what's happening here. I know when people like the darkness, they can leave it a little too dark or not uh, not fade, leave it a little too dark, which like up here or not fade it good enough on this arch right here. It doesn't look good. Like this arch is not, it's just, it's just not clean. It's not flowing. You wanna make sure that you start here. Start here when you're doing one and then start here. And then you, you can connect them if you want. You can either do a deep one depending on what they want. I mean, I try and be as natural as possible. Yeah, this one I'm giving a clean like six. First thing you gotta do, take your picture, make sure it's good, make sure it's crisp, have a plain background or a background that's blurred out so everybody can focus on the picture. 
Secondly, put rate my fade or RMF inside of the body or the subject. The subject makes a lot more sense because all you need to do is put in the subject and put the attachment. That's what I would do. Then you send it to kevin.maurice at hotmail.com. If you do not know how to spell that, check the description down below. I have two V's in my name. I know my mom is an interesting person. Thank you guys for watching this volume of Rate My Fade. It's been great. You guys are amazing. And as you guys have been blowing up this phone right here, honestly, I'm not I'm not really big on critiquing other people for what their, you know, what their stuff should look like or what it shouldn't look like because it's all based on the customer, you feel what I'm saying? But what I wanted to do is create a community of people who are continuing to get better and Rate My Fade is doing that. Yeah, so that's basically it. I'm going to get off my soapbox right now. Uh, check the logo, you feel me? More of the Barber's Table gear is going to be coming out. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. And this video is a bit long, so I'm going to just end it right here. Thank you guys for watching yet again. See you guys in the next video.